isopropyl alcohol, which you can get from Amazon.com, link to the list below. This is where Ross draws diagrams. <laughs> Somebody drew Why is that the only thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. So I'm about sorting out the floor to the bags right here. Uh, oh, yeah. Just real sharp, go back under this plate, come up. There'd be some jazz going on right there, yeah. but then when it came up, you'd have them aimed the right way. Things off in the tank. Webco.com. Yeah. Every time you make, every time you talk Sound about it, every time you talk about a specific product, I'm gonna need you to do that with your eyebrows. <laughs> Especially so when you talk about the glow mounts. Go. Classyhouseproductions.com slash forward slash glow mount, something or other. Is that what it is? Forward nah, slash glow mount? Gotta do the eyebrows. The eyebrows, that's what I'm talking about. He did that the other day. Buy my Ooh. shit so I can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start a GoFundMe. That would be easier. GoFundMe so Ross can eat. Yeah. Well, obviously. He's that a fat one? Got super, super funded. Obviously, he's got a protein because he's muscular. He must be making all kinds of money. <laughs> Okay, so for this uh, next piece that I'm gonna make, um, it's gonna be the longest, <laughs> longest piece of pipe I've ever bent or handled. Um, basically, it's gonna go uh, from underneath the tank um, 
up and around the tank. It's gonna follow this piece here. We go on top of the, uh, the notch and down here, piss off right here. Um, it's gonna be about 90 to 100 inches. Um, so I figured I would kind of make a little parlay video um, or caption um, for basically the longest piece of tubing that I've bent so far. Uh, kind of cool. May not seem very cool to a lot of people, but for a hardliner, um, it's kind of a big deal. Uh, these pieces are actually pretty long themselves. They're about 60 inches. So, um, but yeah, we're going to take you through step by step of just uh, bending this one piece. And it's going to go for the, uh, the front bag. So, here we go. Okay, so for this one, we want uh, the next bend to come right up along with the other, uh, the rear back here. Uh, so we're gonna mark our uh, 90 degree bend location the same uh, uh, next to each other. So basically the bends come up together. So I'm gonna kinda eyeball this. Okay, so we'll 90 that out. Important thing with hard lining is getting your clocking right. And your horizons and planes and all that technical stuff. And then you also have to account for spring back. So on this stuff, it doesn't really spring back that much as it would like a roll cage. If you're running like 1.75 inch, or one and a half inch DLM tubing. We don't have to a little bit, so you have to count for that as well. So there's our 90, so we'll test fit that, see how it goes. Yeah, that came out uh, pretty much perfect. Super happy with that. So we'll go ahead and make our next bend and get it going. So far, uh, it's looking like a pretty cool piece. So we've got a, a 180, and then it goes to 90, and then 45, and then 90, and 90 again, and then 90 up, and then 90 here. It's got like a little bit of a drop to it, as you can see. Come out really cool. Super excited. Okay, so the last couple of bins I had to get creative with, uh, basically just came and laid a towel down here and on the frame rail and just kind of bent that curvature uh, over his um, chassis there. Um, and then just used again here to make that the bend. So that way it kind of flows and follows 
super gradual. So now I'm gonna go and make a little uh, bracket, kind of like what I made underneath uh, to hold the bulkheads uh, so that I can uh, put one bulkhead here. So that way it'll be a separate piece that runs all the way to the front. Um, you know, that way servicing or if you need to take it apart, it'll be a little bit easier for them. So uh, I'm gonna do that and then uh, we'll get the other side bent. <laughs> 